This video is sponsored by CuriosityStream. Get access to my new streaming video service Nebula when you sign up for CuriosityStream using the link in the description. Ever since childhood, I've noticed these lamps. To get the light to come on, you have to click them not once, but twice. Why? I mean, the light in my bathroom takes just one flick. My iPhone, one push to turn the screen on. My computer, one press of a button. My car, one turn of a key. Everything seems to power on with just one input. But this lamp? Two. It's maddening. What's the deal with that extra click? Also, what's the deal with jellyfish? I mean, some of them are biologically immortal. Why aren't we looking into that? Well one thing at a time. Here are a few theories that popped into my head. Theory one, that first click, it probably primes the electrical whatever inside of the bulb's base, but that second click creates a spark that transfers the energy to the light up thingies inside the bulb itself. Theory two, the lamp is just old, and now it requires double the amount of clickiness to send the appropriate amount of energy to the bulb. Oh, okay. Uh, how about this? Theory number three. The lamp might have been made in a different country with different wattage regulations, which would create a mismatch with American-made light bulbs, so every now and then two clicks are required to get both the lamp and the light bulb operating on the same, I don't know, frequency? I was stumped. I even asked a well-known educational YouTuber, who afterwards declined my request to be quoted on the record, his theory is a pretty good one. He figured that the lamp's knob was built with extra space that required two clicks to reach an internal coil, and that this extra space existed to prevent some sort of fire hazard through accidental ignition if the lamp was ever knocked over while plugged in. It turns out this is also wrong. I don't think it's wrong enough to cost him several hundred thousand subscribers, but he seemed convinced it would be. Finally, I asked an electrician I know, and it turns out he's pretty smart when it comes to these kinds of things. He told me that some lamps are designed with different light intensity settings. They're called three-stage lamps, and they're designed to be used with something called three-stage bulbs, but they're also compatible with regular light bulbs too. Being an incredibly paranoid person, I decided to head to my local supermarket to check the validity of his claims. The light bulb aisle was full of all kinds of options. They had regular old light bulbs, sure, but they also had some fancy schmancy LED models. There were big bulbs, tiny bulbs, three bulb value packs, four bulb packs, promising soft, pleasing light, general purpose bulbs, Edison bulbs, French bulbs, vintage bulbs, decorative bulbs, bulbs for night lights, red bulbs, blue bulbs, yellow bulbs, bulbs with wireless remote controls, even scented candle wax warmer bulbs. I had no clue there was a market. All sorts of amazing options. It almost made my head hurt. Almost. After some hunting around, I finally found this, a three-way bulb offering settings of 40 watts, 60 watts, and 100 watts if you're feeling frisky. I purchased the bulb and then returned home, eager to try it out. Here are my findings. <clears throat> well, I'm not quite sure what I was expecting. So, it's true. Lamps sometimes click twice because they've been built to operate with bulbs that have a low, medium, and high power setting. If a regular old light bulb is screwed into it, there's only one power setting, on, or what the lamp interprets as medium. So you'll need to click the lamp twice to access it. The first click skips the lowest or highest setting, and the second click gives you light. I'm almost certain that you, dear viewer, probably already knew all of this. But for almost 30 years of living on this earth, I had no idea. Sometimes in life, we're misinformed. Sometimes we're uninformed. I think I'm usually in the latter group. The beauty of life is that there's always something new to learn. 
You could go through life making fun of the uninformed, as I'm sure plenty of you will do in the comments section. You could even go through life snobbishly correcting the misinformed, though good luck getting them to listen. I'm finding the more I learn, the better life gets. And the moment I think I know it all, life loses its wonder. I wonder what I'll learn tomorrow. I know, you're probably interested in learning something a little bit deeper. Check out today's sponsor, CuriosityStream. They're a subscription streaming service with thousands of quality and curated long-form documentaries and non-fiction titles by some of the world's best filmmakers, including exclusive originals. Unlimited access starts at just $2.99 a month, but I can hook you up with your first month for free if you sign up at curiositystream.com slash Austin McConnell and use the promo code Austin McConnell during the sign-up process. Plus, you'll get access to Nebula, a new streaming service built by and for independent creators like me. Do the names CGP Grey, Wendover Productions, Minute Physics, or Tier Zoo ring a bell? They're on Nebula too. We're all using it as a platform to experiment with productions that don't fit the typical online video mold. You'll get unlimited access. Check out Working Titles, a collaboration series featuring some of your favorite creators. Get CuriosityStream and Nebula today by checking out the link in the description.